You might have the need to grow a culture at higher pressure, for example, when growing a methanogen on hydrogen or CO2. Or you might want to change the headspace of medium you dispense in the anaerobic chamber. For this type of work, you use a pressurizing gassing station. As applied to the name, this type of system allows you to add gas to your tubes at pressures over atmospheric pressure. This type of system is also plumbed to a vacuum pump. The gas and vacuum pump are both attached to a three-way valve that leads to a manifold with attached gassing lines. This allows the same gassing line to be used to add gas or evacuate gas. The gassing lines and connections must be more robust than for a low pressure gassing station. That is, the tubing is often metal or polyethylene. Connections are made for the most part using compression fittings. Notice the gassing lines here are made of sturdy yet still flexible polyethylene. The ends are attached to a lure vacutainer adapter and have a syringe needle on the end. The lines are closed off when not in use by inserting them into a large rubber stopper. Since the pressure will be over atmospheric, the tube or bottle must be of the serum tube variety with a crimp seal closure. What follows is a brief demonstration of headspace exchange using the pressurizing system. To start up the pressurizing gassing station, turn the three-way valve to pressure and remove the gassing line needles from the large rubber stoppers. This is done to flush out the gassing lines. Purge the lines for about a minute, then close off the lines you are not going to use by reinserting them into the large black rubber stopper. Insert the gassing line needles through the stoppers of the tubes you want to change the headspace of. Use some kind of clear plastic shield to protect yourself in case a tube explodes or implodes during operation of this type of system. At this point, you can turn on the vacuum pump. Whenever you turn on or turn off a vacuum pump, the system should be vented. Close the vacuum relief vent valve after starting the pump. We can now evacuate the headspace by turning the three-way valve to vacuum. The larger the headspace, the longer it will require to evacuate and fill the tube or bottle. Switch back to pressure to fill the tube. Do this vacuum fill cycle three times. After filling the tube with gas during the final cycle, vent the vacuum pump by opening the vacuum relief vent valve. Turn the pump off. Leave the three-way valve set to pressure and remove the gassing probe from your tube and insert it back into the large rubber stopper. Allow a little bit of time between each removal to allow the pressure in your tube to re-equilibrate after being removed from the previous tube. After your last tube is done, shut the gas off by turning the three-way valve on the gassing station to closed.